James Weitz has no trouble approaching strangers, it's what he does for a living. He's a documentary filmmaker who is also hired by companies to find real people for their commercials. I must interview 3, 000 people a year, he told me. So when he discovered that someone had broken into his Mar Vista garage in the wee hours of a recent Friday morning and stolen his three precious road bikes, which were locked to a wooden table, he decided to try to get the bikes back by approaching strangers. One of the bikes has tremendous scent. It got me through COVID. The day after the theft, White said he hopped into his two-door sedan and drove around to nearby homeless encampments, where he had often seen a strangely high number of bikes, he struck out. But later that afternoon, on his way to Trader Joe's, he spied his unmistakable shiny red Cannondale in an encampment under the 10 freeway on South Sentinella Avenue just south of Pico Boulevard, he pulled over. A guy sat on a new-looking couch next to the Cannondale, smoking. I said, that's my bike, said Whites. And he said, I just paid $100 for it. Whites happened to have a $100 bill in his pocket and handed it over. Before the guy could change his mind, he told me, I took the bike to the car. And then he wondered if his two other bikes were there as well. I said, I am gonna have one more look. I lifted up a tarp, and my bikes were there. I said, I am taking my bikes and I am not paying for them. The guy started apologizing. Whites ended up chatting with some of the other denizens of the encampment and came to suspect that it's part of at least a semi-organized ring. One of the residents, who identified himself as a mechanic, pedaled off on what Whites estimated to be a $4.000 carbon fiber bike. In all, Whites reckoned, there might have been about $15.000 worth of bikes under the tarps. On Monday morning, I called the Los Angeles Police Department's media relations shop to ask about how the LAPD handles reports of bike thefts, and whether there is any dedicated bike theft unit. There is not, if the victim decides to file a report, do we have someone who runs out and looks? No, said Sergeant Drake Madison. Lots of times, owners don't have serial numbers, so it makes it difficult to get the bike back. Whites had tried to file a police report online. Because his garage was broken into, he was told, he would have to file in person. But his local LAPD outpost in West Los Angeles is not allowing Walkins because of COVID-19. 